Hey, Jim here from K2 Concepts. Shooting a real quick idea I have for a video. I thought it would be interesting to take three different guns, a 1.3, a 1.5, and a 1.8, and measure the amount of material that goes through each gun based on like a five second pull. So you're gonna see me count to five and then let go of the trigger and then we're gonna weigh how much material went out of the gun. I've got uh, the gun loaded up with um, uh, gun wash. I've already weighed the first one. Uh, we tried doing this with a stopwatch, but it was kind of like uh, drag racing. You didn't really hit it exactly right every time. And rather than, you know, mess with all that, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to count to five and we'll let off the trigger and then we'll measure how much material went through the gun. I'm going to set up all the guns on uh, about 15 pounds of pressure because um, we're trying to correlate that to, to activator and not just paint and clear. So going with the lowest common denominator, all the guns are set up wide, full open, uh, full open fan. And uh, so they're allowing the maximum amount of material through. We're gonna set them all up at about 15 pounds or one bar, 14.5 right in there. And we're gonna measure uh, just how much material goes through each one on a five second pull. And then hopefully we can correlate that to maybe a percentage now, a lot of that's going to change based on your, uh, your technique and uh, if you want to dial in the material knob or not. I understand all that. But I thought it would just be interesting just to mess around with this uh, and kind of get a percentage and, and then talk about other things based on that. So real quick, a little chrome for the haters. All right. So I've got a little... Um, guess gun stand uh, we can hang the gun on here uh, I've got uh, my, my uh, scale here set up for grams we'll tear it out to zero and then measure um, right now the first gun weighed in at 1160 grams uh, without the weight of the, of the gun uh, stand and everything so let's check this out all right so crank this down with my uh, one bar. All right, so this is with the one three. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's uh, let's measure that. Hope this isn't a lengthy video. Oops, wait a second. Let's tear this out first. Five grams, so about 15 grams of product. All right. Now let's take the balance of that and throw it in a one five. much transfers over or lost or anything like that because we're weighing each gun as we go so and we're using the exact same gauge Same gauge on each one. All right, so this is a one five. So I'm just zeroed out. So eleven forty five. That's pretty interesting. To start. this out of the way. Get this down to one bar. Right there. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, 
five. See, quite a bit more material coming out of that one. Transfer this over to a one eight. I counted correctly. It does seem kind of weird. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. It looks like a considerable more amount of material. Surprising on a 1.5. Um, oh, you know what? This 1.5 is an HVLP that may have something to do with it. Not sure, but uh, all right. So we've got uh, basically about five grams more use out of a 1.8 than a 1.3. Um, so. I'll do the math on it. But, um, I wanted to get a baseline because what I want to do now is go back and um, do a video on uh, the advantages and disadvantages of each uh, gun tip size. Normally, uh, most of us use about one three, one four, or a one eight or one nine. Uh, if you've been taught by you know us or or somebody who likes a larger tip size. And the only reason for that is um, a lot of times what I see the problem is is under activation. So rather than try to uh, correct technique, I usually recommend a larger tip size and it usually takes care of everything. But there are advantages to adjusting your technique, learn how to read the patterns and stuff like that. So now that we got kind of a big kind of a baseline, um, it was not really scientific, but I thought it was good information for you guys to see and, and I you know, it's, it's, it's fun to get ideas like this and to be able to translate them into to videos. 
Uh, if you guys can tell, I'm kind of on maximum video overdrive lately. I've been shooting about two or three videos a day. So I'm going to load this up. And I hope you guys found that interesting as well as I, as I did. So again, a little chrono for the haters. I hope you guys are enjoying this new set of videos and the new shop and the new conditions and a lot of new ideas, man. So I appreciate you guys subscribing. Like, subscribe, give me your feedback. You can join us on the forum, k2forums.com. You can email me, k2forums at gmail.com. Leave your questions, comments below. And I hope you guys are having a good day dipping. We'll talk to you later.